What is up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? It's time to count some more Zelda stuff. Hey, welcome back to this ridiculously long-running series where we are slowly seeing if we have 1,000 items in our Zelda collection. And thank you for joining us for a milestone episode. We are about to count off the 200th item in our Zelda collection. Wow. And I'm gonna say, this might come off as a little smug, but I guarantee, I guarantee, I promise you, none of you have these next two items. Is that a little smug? Was that a little too much? Maybe a little, maybe dial uh, it down yeah, a bit. Well, tough, I, I'm not going to, because <laughs> numbers 199 and number 200 are the paintings behind us. Oh. Da -da -da. Look at how amazing these are. I really do enjoy having these super unique custom art pieces as part of our game room. Now, the first one that I got is this fantastic Link to the Past piece by none other than Russ Lyman. Well, now I just gotta ship this bad boy out. Whoa, Whoa. what is this? Oh, it's from Russ Lyman. Hey, cool. So on the back of Russ's, we just have the date. 1 2019. Wow, we've had this one for a while. We have. And then he did sign the front of it for us, so thank you for that, Russ. I actually traded him something for it. Uh, he was looking for a box to complete one of his favorite games, and he offered to do a painting and trade. I was like, all right, cool. That's that's great. Thank sure. you, and all. And yeah, I was not <laughs> expecting such an awesome piece. Speaking of, let's go ahead and throw it over to Russ. Oh, hey, what's up, Tom and Lacey? Yes, I totally remember painting the Zelda picture for you guys. I definitely enjoy myself doing some pixel painting. I often don't have time to always do it, but it's a fun experience. I, I toyed around with doing a live stream of it. Some of the pixel paintings can be a lot easier depending how big your pixels are, right, that make up the picture. This piece here, what I wanted to get done with the pixels had to be fairly small and I had to grid the canvas. That's how you kind of start out with the pixel painting. You map out how big your pixels need to be. And I'm using a sheetrock uh, ruler, essentially, uh, similar to something like this here. Something like this, I can use this one as well. You have this nice straight edge here, so you'll put it onto the canvas and then mark your lines up and down and then do it sideways so you have a huge grid of pixels. And then you can take your reference photo, count over, okay, seven over is green, nine over is black. Usually I try to do the black first, like the outline of the shape. And I had the inspiration photo was a poster, like I said, from uh, Link to the Past where the Master Sword was in the Lost Woods. I thought that's an iconic scene and it would look awesome on a painting. And I had some references, but a lot of it, I just kind of went off the grid with all the vine work that was in there showing like the trees and the bushes and stuff like that. You just kind of let it flow when I was painting it. This shade of green, a little bit of this shade of green here, and I think it came together pretty well. The, the main pieces you want to get, make sure Link looks good, the sword. And then my last bit was this shining light that was coming through the trees and how to achieve that because I couldn't just do yellow, right? Because you want to see the trees behind it. It has to be this translucent feeling with the picture there. So I watered down a lot of the paint. I had the regular scene and then I was going over the top of that with a watered down paint. So you could still see the paint through that, but I think it, I think it turned out fine that it's light coming through shining down and yeah I had a good time painting that for sure I made a speed painting video you can check out as well and I've done a few other pixel paintings on there but it all comes out the time so many projects to do so many videos to make um, I often don't have time to do pixel painting I do paint figures as well I know you guys were talking about my Toonie terror figures those blew up on the channel i didn't think the video was going to do that well when i was painting them but the story kind of behind that was there's a freddy and a jason and toonie terror was supposed to release them as the nes palettes like the palette swap 
but something got mixed up and they weren't able to release it so I said you know what gonna make my own so I bought each figure at Target they were like you know 12 bucks at the time they had a Freddy they had a Jason so I painted Jason purple with like the teal mask and I did Freddy orange pants orange sweater and all that and repackaged them up and they look pretty sweet I've done some commissions in the past as well for other people and that just mimics other stuff on my channel I've done full cosplays of those characters and kind of use that as inspiration and I think both turned out awesome appreciate you guys thinking of me and as always I'm Russ Lyman keep your world fun bit by bit I'll see you next video oh, look at this this is so awesome that is amazing now uh i am just a little teeny tiny bit of a zelda fan the next one is by jen of retro rivals again it was kind of a trade i heard that they were looking for something uh, i had a game wasn't quite sure of the condition that it was in and i told them hey if you want this you can have it i don't care sent it off i wasn't looking for anything in return she said i'm doing you a painting so she went super colorful with a very angry Toon Link. So on the back of the painting from Jen, we have Tom and Lacey, aka Do You Nerd. You guys inspire us every day. Thanks for being amazing. Retro Rivals. You guys get to see it first. All right, come on. How awesome is it? Hey guys, so happy to be part of your Zelda series. Um, I don't think you know how much it means to me too to have a painting in your game room. It's like sending you a little part of Retro Rivals for you to have at your house. Now, I feel, you guys feel like family to me. I, I don't know if I've ever said that before, but it was such a joy to be able to do that for you. I believe in repaying kindness. You were kind enough to send me a game that you knew I would love. And I wanted to send that to you guys. Now, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I had never played a Zelda game until I made your painting. It's part of the reason I wanted to play it. The same happened with uh, Steve, Steve Craig Retro Games, when I made him a Bioshock painting. It made me want to play the game. Spending that time with the character and getting involved in each brush stroke, it really means a lot. So you want to dig into the world a little bit more. Now I know this is supposed to be about the painting and I wish I had more pictures and uh, B-roll to show you from the paintings, but at that time I had done six paintings to send off to different people who had shown us kindness in uh, just in our community, in our gaming community. But I wanted to show you the first Zelda game I played. We are lucky enough to own it, CIB, uh, Link to the Past, and also something that's really special in our game room. I know it's not everybody's favorite, Adventures of Link, The Adventure of Link, and it's Zelda 2. Now, it is a Canadian variant. It has the French and English seal on it, and it's black label sealed. So this is unopened. We're not sealed collectors, but in this case, it's a little piece of history that we want to keep in our game collection completely intact. Uh, I love you guys both so much. I support this series. Uh, and I just want you guys to know I'm so happy that you love the painting so much and that you're highlighting it in this video. It means a lot to me and I hope it means as much to you. You know, you can just take the rupee out of the jar. <gasps> Witchcraft. <laughs> well, there you have it, nerdlings. Some awesome, super unique Zelda pieces to add to the collection that nobody else has. And that's that's pretty cool to say and they're from some of our youtube buddies no less they are so cool we absolutely love having them hanging up here in the game room in the collection where they are safe now let's put the pressure on lady lacy which one is your favorite they're so different though i can't decide it's like choosing between your favorite children and we all know nobody has a favorite child Nerdlings, <laughs> please leave some comments down below on what you think of these fun art pieces. Stay tuned. We swear we're still counting down the Zelda stuff. Uh, we are going to get to a thousand. I, I know we're going to make it. 
it'll just take a long, long time. <laughs> and of course, not that they need it. Awesome channels, super huge in their own spaces. But there are links to both Russ Lyman and the Retro Rivals in the description down below. All right, well, I am going to go uh, probably do some stick figures with like a triangle. So you know it's Link. That's, that's the best I got. I'm going to go figure out what else we can trade for more art. <laughs> Bye, nerdly. Bye, nerdly. <laughs> Look at how amazing these are. Uh, these is. These is awesome. Look <laughs> how amazing these is. <laughs> you English speak good. <laughs> it's crooked. It's still crooked. It's still crooked? It's still crooked. We gotta keep saying it. <laughs>